spent much of today working on the 99th Dan Hamming episode. And primarily involving making animations for Dan Hamming by recording them off of an earlier version of Rapper Offline I have using a registered copy of Bandicam. I microwaved everything for 30 seconds. of work I did was to update the UN5 video part, of which I think it's either the 6th, I mean, the 6th or 5th video part. Not entirely sure whether there are 6 or 7 video parts, but I'm currently leaning towards seven. I updated that before the most recent part video part in order to fix a text to speech voice inconsistency in regards to Kyle's father. Because for Kyle's father, I initially used a different text to speech voice because the Stuart text to speech voice is a British text to speech voice, but a pretty high quality text to speech voice when compared to whatever I used initially. I presume these are wings Dad got from Salvatore's after work. Tonight was apparently their $10 pizza special. Though Dad seemed to get not only the usual pepperoni and sausage, but also mushrooms, 
and peppers. I generally like mushrooms less than my dad, but they're usually fine if they're on a pizza. The peppers add some extra crunch. And flavor. I had two slices of pizza around seven. I had some leftover corn around 3 p.m. Seven PM for the pizza roughly. And I had the hot pockets as usual around noon. And microwave them for two minutes. And though the hot pocket seemed a little too big for. Their christening sleeves. I wasn't on Stronghold Kingdoms much today. And I got to notice that they were going to be closing for maintenance soon. And so I closed the game early on today. I think it was within the first hours of today. But surely that maintenance is over by now. Yeah, when describing the flavor, the first thought that came to mind was teriyaki. Yeah, maybe it's due to the savory taste, but then again, I think chicken wings always have a savory taste to them. I didn't get any work done on that star foam drawing I showed the other day because it was so focused on working on the 99th Dan Hamming.
<laughs> Excuse me. I got uh, pretty close to getting all the necessary knowledge points to research and upgrade for this ancient wonder. Got pretty excited and ended up filling the gap with two, five ancient knowledge packs and packs of three ancient knowledge. <laughs> I believe I can upgrade the workshop. I just don't have the space to do that for the time being. Uh, this is also how the current level of my top dwarven steel manufactory. I'm on this task set. Uh, lately, I've been focusing on on upgrading this one uh, for no real reason other than to upgrade. All the various ancient wonders. I've got a pretty strong feeling in my heart that that it is possible to have a city in Elvenar with all of the different ancient wonders of Elvenar inside it. I put this building in in order to increase the rate at which I produce mana or mana, uh, but the extra culture is pretty good too. Uh, I could also upgrade this Ancient Wonder so it has an option to produce mana. Yeah, I'm one Royal Restoration short currently. Oops. Must not have been paying much attention to how many coins I was getting. It's a mistake I make every now and then. For my two enchantments I'm going to do this uh, which is what I usually do when that is part of a task set uh, I also do that in order to get that one item within the Fellowship Adventures that requires me to use enchantments. Either use or disenchant them for spell fragments.
I also spent some time catching up on the backlog of my dinner videos and playing games of Bloons Tower Defense 6. Primarily because I think I got some extra time for that collection event, some extra days. And as such, I was easily able to get to the diamond level. But I haven't gotten any tier 5 instas so far yet. I usually end these episodic events within the bronze league, but hopefully I'll be able to end it in the silver this time. I seem to be fairly close. Huh. I also got into the Diamond League recently on Duolingo after trying to finish first within the Obsidian League, but at some point between me doing some Spanish practice and Those last few hours of lip scene. The person I initially took first place from managed to get it back. Which I've got quite a bit of respect on them for doing that. I'm a pretty strong believer in not giving up. You know, Delingo told me that apparently only 0.4% of learners finish get a top three finish within an obsidian league and they told me as such yeah, so now I'm in a diamond league and I'm pretty honored to be in such a league. Provides me with extra motivation. To study, study Spanish. Along with their Oscars Mustache November challenge that they also created on the app. Since November is also known as no shave November.
Yeah, which I think I could do and I still not have that much facial hair. Though I'm not entirely sure on that. 